Hey guys, well, let's get back to work on this uh, 7A. It's been a little while. We did finally get some nice weather. And uh, I guess I'll show you guys what color we decided to paint this monster. So, that's a little bit different than anything else we have, but well, that's what we ended up with. And uh, well, there's our flywheel. So, yeah, I like the color of it. It's a little bit darker than what I anticipated. Because I wanted it to kind of match the red back there. Uh, we got a little bit pretty close. So before we start reassembling this to make it run, we got to fit our crank bearings back in here, our mains. Oh, dang it. We got to fit our mains in here. And I'm pretty sure what our binding is, is our crank is not truly centered. So we're you know, running too hard to the one side and we need to adjust that over so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these fitted and then remember we had that rattle fit we got to get that out of there too so what I'll probably end up doing is I don't know how much this I'm gonna video and show you guys but I can tell you what we're gonna do is this is gonna be filed and this face is going to be filed and that will reduce our diameter in there essentially then I will put this on a surface plate make sure that this and our back are parallel with one another because remember our cylinder mounts on this so we want this to be well 90 degrees with our crank right here so if these are true and these are true well then I can essentially line bore this here out with a ream so that way we have our true 5 16 diameter inside of here and we don't have our rattle fit so let me get busy well that took a little bit longer than expected but we're going to see what we ended up with i did mount this to a board because well, it's about time to start putting it back together right and no, this is not the board we're going to be using. It's just set up on here. Well, this came from, well, that flame liquor that we fixed for Chris. Oh, right there, if you guys wanted to watch it. So, let's see what we ended up with. Uh, I did get these trued up. I enlisted the help from some bastard from India. And no, don't jump me about that, because right here. See that? It's a bastard file that's made in India. So, all right. Well, we did recondition our bearings. And they fit very nicely. We did line bore or ream our mains. So let's offer this crank into it. And we're going to see how well we did. And uh, go from there. So... We do have a little bit of play end to end, which is exactly what we needed. So let's get our main caps fit back on here. They fit nice. Now, I didn't put the bolts on there. Just finger pressure. If I hold both of them, oh, I'll do it back here. If I hold them both, we have a very, very nice fit now. So... Let me get these bolted in and uh, we'll keep moving ahead and uh, see where we get to go next. We got our crank back in and very nice moving. We haven't lubricated it yet and that's a whole lot better than it was. So yeah, very nice free motion all the way through. I don't feel any tight spots and no matter where we stop, we don't have that rattle fit anymore so we've got that straightened up and this is parallel with this surface here so hopefully when we go to put this back on we're all going to line up well what do you say we get that put back on let me get our studs back in we'll keep moving ahead well look guys hey we've got a connecting rod now <laughs> It's going to make it run a whole lot better with a connecting rod, right? And, uh, well, off camera, I did mount 
our uh, cylinder assembly, well, minus our steam chest, onto our cylinder sport. Let's see how well everything fits together again. We gotta drop it down nice and even. There. All right. Pull you guys back out. We'll leave this set here and we'll see if we've got uh, clearance up here on the top. Okay. Let's check this out. Look at that, guys. Hey. That's going to be nice. Let's get that bolted down. We have our cylinder support bolted back down tight. And if you guys remember back in the last video, well, remember how this was binding? Watch now. I'll turn that. So, yeah, we've got, guys, I think we're going to be good. Let's get that put together. We have our connecting rod hooked up to our piston. And look, we still have a little bit of float left on our crank. And yeah, look guys, <laughs> she turns all the way over. So, all right, just for, well, I guess for me, I'm going to go ahead and mount our flywheel. That way we can turn it because, hey, we got to get over here on this side. We got to start doing our valve chest. So, yeah, that'll make it a lot easier on me. Get this flywheel put on. Hey, looks a whole lot more like an engine now, don't it, guys? All right. Well, we still got to get this back half put back together. So, well, we did not paint any of our valve chest but we did surface this and our face let's get this all reinstalled everything fits nice okay we're gonna get our valve eccentric we got it all cleaned up line him back up we're gonna see how it well before we were uh, off on our length causing bindage so let's get that put back together i'll get you guys pulled in we'll see what we ended up with all right well you guys can see a little bit better i did paint our steam chest cover let's see how we did with this machine work we're going to slide our eccentric back up and uh, well, before, remember how it was binding? You guys see that? Nice. I'll put you in. We can get a better look. Well, I'm not sure how the focus is going to show up, but here. See that? We can pass through there if we're just barely touching both sides. So now we know that our crank down here is true with our cylinder support. And, uh, well, hey, we're going to have everything all straightened up. So, all right, let me get that bolted back in and we'll put our uh, eccentric pin back in there. And, uh, guys well i guess we're not too far away from seeing if it'll run let's get after it we're almost there guys let's make sure that this here still wants to line up which yeah we're good and we also want to make sure that our valve is traveling evenly well when i say evenly what i mean is we want the same distance top to bottom so let me push this steam chest back and uh, all right we have no binding all 
All right, well, we have full opening up here. Let's look down here. And that one's fully open also. So I guess what we're down to now is putting this back together. We're gonna adjust our timing. <laughs> Let's make it run. Let me get this put together. All right, guys, let's go ahead and oil this all up. And yeah, we're gonna over it, but well, everything's been dry, so. We can clean it all up afterwards, right? I'm excited to see this run again. So, and remember we just have our timing set well pretty much in the ballpark so let me get our uh, airline hooked up over here we'll go from there so all right that airline's hooked up Everything appears to be decent. We still have to adjust our timing, but let me pull you guys out. There you go. Let's put some air to it. Let's see if we got anything. That sounds a whole lot better than it did. Let me get you guys pulled in. Take a look at it together. Well, guys. <laughs> made a mess with the oil but listen to it our knocking has gone away we've got everything crewed up we gotta run this in I have not adjusted the pressure my hands are both right here so listen it's it's getting run in we'll let it sit here and run in for a little bit So that last clip, well, I let it sit here and run for, oh shit, probably an hour or so. Let it kind of wear itself in, make itself to where everything wanted to be where it is. And I did adjust the timing on it. So I thought I would show that and then well, we'll get together and we'll put the, the rest of our trim on and polish all this up up here. So, all right, well, let me put some air back to it and you guys can listen to how much better it runs now. And then we'll get going on putting our cladding on and putting our brass bands and so on on. Just adjusting the timing and letting it sit there and run itself in. It's so much happier. Got a good, good sound out of the exhaust. We're running nice and smooth and it has quite a bit of power, honestly. So, all right. Well, hey, now that we know that, hey, we've got it adjusted, guys, and it's running really good. Um, I guess in my opinion, I don't know what you guys think of the color, but I think it looks pretty nice. So, let's make it, uh, let's get the rest of this put on up here. We'll uh, keep moving ahead. Well, 
Come here, guys. So, we've got our cladding back on. We've got our brass bands back on. Everything's polished up. And this here, I just sanded it down. And I think I like it better being, uh, well, it's got some sheen to it, but it's just from rubbing it down. I think I kind of like that better. So, let me know what you guys think down underneath. But, we've got it all reassembled. It looks really good. It runs great now. And why is it all the way over here? This is just a temporary board that we use to put it together. But there was an idea behind that board. So you guys were wondering why it was taking so long to do just this. Well, it wasn't just this that I was working on. Uh, we're going to put something on the other end of this. So let me get that out and we'll just mock it up and I'll show you. Let me know what you guys think. Well, guys, what do you think? This is just sitting on, well, a set of parallels because I'm going to have to make another base for this. You know nothing gets out of this shop without getting subjected to atrocious woodworking, right? So let me know what you think. This is one of those generators that I've built. And uh, I know that we aren't going to have to run this engine very fast, but these are very, very effective generators. They don't have to spin fast to produce voltage. And... Uh, let me know what you guys think. So, hey, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, waiting for me to get this project almost finished. We still got to make a base for it. But let me know what you guys think down there in the comments. And uh, if you guys aren't subscribed and would like to, you can click the tab right there. And it would really help the channel grow. I really appreciate you guys watching. And uh, I do read all your comments. So once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.